Hey, what's up everybody? Well, it's pretty much, you know, a couple weeks into apple picking season, so I figured let me do something uh, with apples. And uh, what we're going to do is, is we're going to do an apple butter. And not only are we going to make it, we're going to can it. So you're going to get a two for one on this. There's The difference between apple butter and apple sauce is yeah, apple butter is cooked down until it's nice and thick. And then you just spread it on toast and more biscuits or, or, or whatever. All right, so this is what you're going to need. Okay, so I've got about, um, about four, four pounds of apples here. We got uh, Macintosh, we got Golden Delicious, and we've got uh, Snapdragon. Snapdragons are um, they're a little bit uh, n newer, from what I understand. I think they're um, they're grown in New York, and um, these are these are good. These are these are sweet yet tart. Just a very very hint of tartness. Um, I, I really like these. So anyway, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna peel and cut these up. We're going to need three quarters, three quarters a cup of brown sugar, three quarters of a cup um, white granulated sugar, one cup of water, two cups of apple cider. Now, since we're canning, I'm not sure how many jars I'm going to need, and I hope this is going to be enough. I've got nine of these little ones. Um, I'm hoping that'll be enough. We're gonna need a quarter teaspoon of salt. We got two teaspoons of cinnamon, one tablespoon of vanilla extract, half a teaspoon of allspice, and half a teaspoon of um, ground cloves. So let me let me get these um, let me get these washed and peeled cut up and um, put into the uh, into the pot and I'm gonna use my my big La Crescette for this because um, I haven't used her in a while so so I uh, peeled and cored all those apples I'm gonna throw those in there we're going to put everything except for the vanilla extract. That vanilla extract we're going to put in at the very end because we don't want to cook out the uh, the flavor of the vanilla. Brown sugar, white sugar, salt, clove, allspice, Cinnamon. Okay, I turned it on medium, but now I'm going to add the liquid. So we have one cup of water and two cups oops, of apple cider. We're going to bring this up to a boil and then we're going to turn it down and just let it simmer and, and from here on in you got to watch it so it doesn't you know uh, make sure it doesn't stick to the bottom or burn um, you want to cook down the liquid as much as possible okay this has been going a couple minutes so uh, these apples are soft so what I'm going to do is I'm going to break out my hand blender and um, now I'm going to um, chop this fine. I'm going to make this fast. Excuse this and you want to break it down. So uh, I'm going to do that and then we'll be back. As you can see I, uh, I used a hand blender. I, you know, I broke all this up, made it into a nice uh, sauce. Now we're just going to continue to cook it down until it's nice and thick. Um, and then it'll be ready for canning. So in the meantime, what I'm going to do is, is I'm, going to, uh, I'm going to start sterilizing my jars and everything. So by the time I'm finished uh, sterilizing my jars and getting my um, canning station all prepared, um, should be ready. You'll see I have these jars in this pot of water. And I'm going to bring it to a boil so it'll... 
uh, sterilize them. I have two, four, six, eight. I have eight. I'm, I'm hoping that should be enough so these jars will get sterilized. They'll come over here. I cleaned all this area with um, isopropyl alcohol. I've got a clean tea towel down here. So the pot of the uh, apple butter will go here. My jars will be here. And then as I fill them up, I will put them back in here. And then they'll boil for 10 minutes. So after these are done, I'm gonna have to, this is a, this is a magnet. It helps you with uh, handling, because you, you don't wanna handle anything with too much with your hands. Um, this stuff will get sterilized when the time comes. Um, this will this will give me my head space. My head space I want about a quarter inch. A quarter inch is the first notch. I don't do too much canning on this stove one because it's a glass glass top stove and I'm afraid there's a lot of weight on there. So I try to limit um, the uh, the weight. You know, um, I do have a big canning pot that you know you would use for the big for the big jars but it, that just gets too heavy and um, my plan is, is to get a burner so I can do it outside and then uh, not worry about damaging the stove okay so this is where you want to be it's nice and thick we're just gonna cook it down for a little bit longer but now's the time that we're gonna add that vanilla all right I did I did decide that I'm gonna strain this so it's nice and smooth so what I'm gonna do is is I'm gonna strain it into this pot okay so my jars are sterilized and uh, when you want to take them out you want to dump the water out of them you want to be careful because they're gonna be hot and then we're gonna set them over here you never want to set it the these hot jars on this surface because thermal shock could cause um, the uh, the jars to break and it may not happen right away it might happen when you're uh, when you're canning so all right I'm gonna finish these up then I'm gonna do the lids and the utensils This is all I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this and I'm going to put it in a sieve. This will make it nice and nice and smooth. And uh, oh man, this smells fantastic. I definitely won't need all those jars that I uh, that I uh, sterilized, but yeah. So let me pass this through and then we'll uh, we'll get back. Okay, so we're ready. Got my I sieved this and it's a lot better because it's nice and smooth. All the stuff is sterilized and this is all we're going to do. I got this ladle that's sterilizing and we're going to just ladle it in. Now when we're done, we're going to clean these edges because we don't want um, we don't want anything on the lead on the edge because then it won't uh, seal properly.
So this is basically it. When I'm ready to put these in, I will be back. So. I've only got a little bit left, not enough for a full, for a full jar, so that'll be the one I put in the fridge. Trying to get these any air out of it. And you don't want to touch the ledge with your you don't want to touch the edge with your Once all these are in, we're going to boil them for 10 minutes. So now I'm going to uh, set the timer for 10 minutes. Alexa, set timer for 10 minutes. And uh, that's going to be pretty much it. Okay, so this went 10 minutes. I shut off the heat and then I let it sit for about 5 minutes. And now we're going to take them out. Them right on this cutting board and you want these to sit for about 12 hours so it, it may take up to 12 hours for them to uh, to seal because they have to cool and as it cools it's going to form a vacuum Uh, 
as, as these cool, you're going to hear these, um, these pings or these pops. And what that is, is, is um, the, uh, the tops getting sucked in and they, and they, uh, they form a, when they get sucked in, they, you'll hear that, that ping or that pop. That's what you'll hear. That's what you'll hear when they, um, when they, when they seal. Right now, they're not sealed. As they cool, they're going to ping. Um, if you have any that have that give, then they go in the refrigerator. That means they didn't, they didn't take. So, um, that's it. Um, hope you like this, and, um, thanks for stopping by.